How's it going, Yankees fans? How's it going, MLB fans? Yet again, it is Felix from MLYNews.com. And the numbers are in. America really doesn't like the Boston Red Sox. Okay? And this channel, for some reason, a lot of Red Sox fans are subscribing. I don't know if they are jealous because Yankees uh, commentators have better content than uh, Boston Red Sox commentators on YouTube, if they have any. And if they do... Nothing against uh, mental health, but a lot of them seem like they need to take their medication. Or there's something in the water over there in Boston. So long story put short, the World Series ratings are down. And it has to do with many factors. One being that it doesn't have anything to do with Dodgers, by the way. LA is a electric. LA is a big market. It has to do with how Major League Baseball as a whole has marketed the Boston Red Sox. One being, this played a part, believe it or not. From a marketing PR standpoint, MLB, let's say, has turned off the New York Yankees fan base, or let's say a large chunk of the New York market. And I'm not saying the New York Yankees are the center of the universe. I'm just saying that MLB has turned off the interest of Yankees fans and let's say Houston Astro fans because I'm pretty sure Astros fans and their fan base endured the same kind of let's say trolling that Major League Baseball did to the Yankees. For example, things like putting the Red Sox jersey on Lady Liberty, posting things on social media saying, oh you wanted Boston, you got it. Putting things out like uh, Aaron Judge being the root cause of the Yankees losing in the LDS. Things like that. Arguably, Aaron Judge being one of the faces of MOB, they brought negative attention upon him and his image. And it's not even my opinion. Major League Baseball's playoffs in 2018 have been sort of, let's say, biased against certain teams. And yes, arguably, some of the things I mentioned could have played in to, let's say, Yankees fans specifically not tuning into the World Series. And I'm mentioning Yankees fans specifically because Yankees fans, a high percentage of them, are baseball fans in general. All I know is MOB can't be too happy with the ratings because realistically they do have two powerhouses of a team playing against each other. But it just shows you that the rest of the country <laughs> is not like the Boston Red Sox. A professional league like MLB who's trying to, let's say, attract more fans and attract more interest, they're failing where it counts. Nobody's tuning into the World Series. Nobody's tuning into the All-Star Game because, let's say, they've done boneheaded decisions like uh, leaving John Carlos Stanton out of the All-Star Game, picking a 38-year-old over a 28-year-old. Yeah, that was really smart. So we've seen all the trolling against uh, the Yankees, the Yankees organization. We've seen it all over MLB's social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Trolling the Yankees, which in my opinion, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know this. That the Yankees are your most profitable sports franchise. They're the most famous sports franchise literally in America. You do not do that and not expect, let's say, people to not tune into your product if you're treating your most famous uh, franchise the way that Major League Baseball has treated the Yankees this whole playoff run. Here's a hint. Nobody wants to tune into the World Series just to listen to mass holes chant Yankees suck when they're not even facing the Yankees. If you go on Yankees Twitter... See, all the Yankees fans, they're not even interested in the World Series. All these other MLB sports fans, they're not interested. You know what they're interested in? The hot stove. The offseason. They think that's more entertaining than the World Series. Wow. And if you're Major League Baseball, you have to reevaluate what you're doing. Because nobody wants to see a 31-year-old rookie telling Gary Sanchez to get in the effing box and have all these other announcers defend that and say, hey, that was hilarious. 
instead of saying, oh, he's a 31-year-old rookie, he shouldn't have said that. At least say that. So in my opinion, it's no surprise nobody wants to tune in to see the Red Sox. I'm sorry. The numbers speak for themselves. Nobody wants to see the Red Sox. It's not the Dodgers' fault. The Red Sox fan base can't, let's say, carry the ratings. The evidence is there for everybody to look at. And I'm pretty sure the Houston market, the Astro fan base, is not tuning in either. Because they had a deal with these massholes as well. Okay? If you see the comments on my channel, the most pathetic comments come from Red Sox fans. So, hey, Major League Baseball, you promoted the Red Sox. You put them up on this pedestal. You trolled the Yankees organization and the city of New York. And look, the ratings haven't been so down since the Kansas City Royals lost to the San Francisco Giants in 2014. Obviously, it was going to be a low ratings World Series with a market like Kansas City. I mean, really, Boston can't beat Kansas City. That, that's just horrible. What I'm trying to say here is nobody wants to tune in to see David Ortiz and Pedro Martinez flaunting, let's say, their three World Series rings or two. Pedro has one, Ortiz has three or whatever. They don't want to hear that because Fox could easily put on Independent that has five rings and he could talk about his rings 24-7. Poor old A-Rod has to hear David Ortiz 24-7 talk about his three rings. What I'm trying to say here is everybody realizes that the Boston Red Sox are a wannabe New York Yankees. They want to be the new New York Yankees so bad and nobody's buying it. The ratings speak for themselves. You have all these Boston Red Sox being commentators now. Nobody wants to hear their mouths. You know, by the way, if you noticed uh, Fox, their broadcasters, they have to put netting behind them when they're at Fenway Park. Because Red Sox fans are such animals that they fear for the safety of their broadcasters. Wow. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think it was a mistake for Major League Baseball to troll the New York Yankees? Do you think it was a mistake to, let's say, hold the Red Sox on a high pedestal, making, let's say, the Red Sox the face of Major League Baseball? I want to hear your opinions in the comment section below. Leave them. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time. And I will check